Hi, this is Niu Niu. Today, let's learn about another widely used pair of antonyms, 开放 and 封闭. These two contrasting concepts can be translated into English as open and closed. 开放 generally implies the state of being open, accessible, or welcoming to various things or ideas. On the contrary, 封闭 signifies the state of being closed off, restricted, or isolated. Both words can refer to policies, systems, or attitudes. For instance, 这个路段暂时封闭了,不对车辆开放. This section of the road is temporarily closed and is not open to vehicles. In terms of policies or attitude, we can say 开放是国家进步的前提, 封闭必然导致落后. Openness is a prerequisite for the progress of a country. Closure inevitably leads to backwardness. Just as mentioned above, openness encourages collaboration, innovation, resilience, and growth, while sealing oneself off can limit opportunities, stifle creativity, and lead to isolation. Therefore, whether at an individual or national level, Embracing openness and inclusivity can empower one to overcome challenges. Take the Belt and Road Initiative, for example. It follows the principle of wide consultation, joint contribution, and shared benefits. The programs of development are open and inclusive, not exclusive. 一带一路不是封闭的,而是开放,包容的。Ten years on, guided by this principle, the BRI has progressed with strong vigor and vitality. For example, the China-Europe Railway Express has opened up a new channel for Asia-Europe land transport and has become an anchor of stability for global supply chains. Multilateral financial cooperation institutions such as the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, the Silk Road Fund, and the New Development Bank were established one after another to help with shortage of funds for global infrastructure construction in developing countries. It is believed that staying open to collaboration and connectivity will keep bringing positive outcomes to the world. 开放, 封闭。Open up and seal off. 你学会了吗?